Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog of day, and today is Thursday the 29th, and today was a beautiful day weather-wise, absolutely gorgeous out there, it was just stunning, uh, had just a tiny little bit of breeze, got up in the, I'd say low 80s or so, just absolutely just a wonderful day, still, um, they're calling for rain for like the next seven days, and it hasn't been raining overnight, which is awesome because you wake up and you don't have to worry about having your windows up and your car and all that kind of stuff. And it's, you get nice, you know, slow rain soaking the ground really good, which is awesome for my grass I'm planting. I got some new flowers I planted. I got a bunch of that stuff that I'm not even really having to water much at all. I'm watering like once in the afternoon, and other than that, I've been watering them two or three times a day, and I'm not having to do that. So that's working out great for me because I'm getting that nice, steady, slow rain coming in the morning. And overnight and I'm loving that so got a few things around here done today I've been having some issues I threw my back out um, first a month and basically the dog yanked me into a crick on a run and stuff chasing he was just I don't know stupid stuff but I dislocated a couple ribs and I thought it was going to go back and it's just not and I'm getting my absolute butt kicked by it here lately I'm not sleeping worth a damn um, it's just getting worse and worse I kept thinking it's gonna get better and it's not getting any damn better. So I'm going to have to find myself a chiropractor, which sucks because last couple I've found, um, there's been issues with one of them. The guy's a great chiropractor, but he'll schedule three, or not him, I guess his staff schedules like three people for a 3.30 appointment. So that's the reason I stopped going to see him because I'd have like an hour, hour and a half wait in the lobby before I get in to see him. And it was absolutely ridiculous. Um, uh, there's no reason why and we were talking one day about the fact I'm like when's your appointment I'm like 3 30 they're like I'm 3 30 and she goes I'm 3 30 also so when I and this was at 4 15 I think at that moment and it was 4 30 before I got in there even back to the room and then I sat there for 25 more damn minutes so that's when I gave up and said I'll never be back here again regardless of the situation and he's here in town he does a good job but like I said I'm not waiting an hour plus to see a damn chiropractor especially when there's, I understand if it was a one-time thing but it's not. It happens every single time. I think the first time I was back to seeing him after I quit because it took so long to get into him, I waited 15 minutes after my appointment. I'm always there 15 minutes early, minimum, in case they got a chance to get me in. I don't want to hold him back. And then it got a little worse. And when I heard there was three people all scheduled for 3.30, I don't give a damn how good he thinks he is at the whole, like, seeing multiple patients. You can't see us in that time frame, and it just throws you way off course down the road. And I also heard the staff off and on and go, well, we don't have any openings, but just stop by and hang around the office here and we'll get you in. And I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm sitting here for two hours trying to get into scene for an appointment I made two months ago. So definitely, um, I just gave up on him. So there's one in Des Moines I like to see, but it's a two hour drive for me, one way to Des Moines, then two hours back home. And I was seeing him for a while and I said, is there any chance if I just stop in, if you have an opening, you're not busy, can I just stop in, get adjusted and see it? I'll pay you full price, all that kind of junk. And if you are busy, I'll come back next week, whatever, no big deal, because there's a couple times I've had an appointment with him, and I really did not feel like I wanted to make a trip to Des Moines. There was nothing else I wanted to do, but I didn't want to lose my appointment, so I drive four hours round trip to basically get adjusted with the chiropractor, and that's absolutely ridiculous, because that's, you know, another 50 bucks in gas, all that kind of crap, and it's just definitely not worth the hassle factor, and an entire day shot when I, there was nothing else I wanted to do up there, and that was before I was running that kind of thing, so now I would just run in Des Moines, which wouldn't be as big a deal, but it's still one of the things that sucks. It's been, I don't know, it's just been a pain in the ass. Everyone I try and find, there's always something, whether it be, I don't like the way they do this, I don't want to do that, or just different situations in the process. So, And it's probably been, oh, I bet it's been a year and a half. I bet, no, it's probably been two and a half years since I've seen a chiropractor again. And I used to see one once a month, that kind of thing. I probably need to break down and go find one and just figure out what i got to do. So... Other than that, um, I just, my, like I said, just, I'm hurting. Um, it's getting worse and worse. I'm getting a lot of side stitches when I run because my rib's out. I'm not breathing properly. And it's, my back's not allowing me to sleep, which is kicking my ass when it comes to exhaustion. And when I get exhausted, I tend to eat more junk food. It's just what happens in my life. I know that completely. I've eaten a bunch of junk food. Um, I've gained like seven pounds. That's not a big deal there because I was at my absolute bottom before. And that's the seven pounds ain't gonna hurt me a bit there, but it's more the fact I just don't like myself when I'm eating chips and that kind of stuff all the time. So that's definitely um, not an issue. I've actually dropped off two of the seven pounds. I'm five pounds up right now in the last couple of days. I've dropped two pounds, well, the last four days actually. But 
that's just I made a conscious effort to stop eating the shit food and start eating, you know, healthy again. So plus I've been doing more exercise and that's kicking my butt too. My back's really kicking my ass and hurting every day. So I did get my run in. Um, I actually went and saw my grandparents first, I guess. Went and talked to them. Hung out there for a while and stuff. My grandmother took a fall. She tripped over the corner of their raised bed garden. And when she fell, she smashed the side of her face right into the um, other raised bed. And just, oh, it, she looks horrible. She feels fine. She just looks horrible because she bleeds really bad underneath her skin. And that part there definitely sucks. So other than that, um, pretty much... I went out from there, I headed to the gym, got on the bike, they got the air conditioning fixed at the gym finally, so I spent half an hour on the bike in there, did the rest of my workout real fast, the dog and I um, went out for the run, oh, I also bathed him, I forgot that, I took him and got him a bath before I went to my grandparents' house and stuff even too, and basically, there's the outside car wash, has a dog grooming, like, tub thing, whatever, worked out good, he's um, happy now, all that kind of thing, he gets really, he doesn't, he doesn't like getting bathed, but he tolerates it really well. Then afterwards, he gets a bunch of treats. We got we play, you know, have a good time. And then we went saw my grandparents. Then I went down and did my running. Um, we ran the trails. It was probably ninety percent um, shade, which is awesome. That's really super, you know, awesome there. I sprayed us both down with tick stuff, which on the trails isn't that bad. It's the grass trails that kick my butt in the actual timber. But he ended up with three ticks on him, and I ended up with one tick on me. Mine was still on my shoe when I kicked. When I was able to, I spotted it, threw it off then, so it wasn't a big deal there. So. Other than that, um, knocked out a 5K, just kind of running around, having a good time. Headed back home, watched a little bit of Netflix and that. I just, I'm just so exhausted and so wore out from just not sleeping and that. I went to bed like crazy, crazy early. Well, I'm, not, I'm going to bed now. It's like crazy early. I'd say it's probably like 1030. So if I can get in bed, um, I'm hoping to be asleep by 11, 1130, something like that. And that'll be a good thing for me. So that's all I've got for now. I will talk to you tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.